Dear students, now we are going to discuss intermodal dispersion in detail. Dispersion represents the spreading of light while propagating through the fiber. It is the loss of the light wave propagation along the fiber. Okay. Intermodal dispersion occurs only in multimode fibers because in multimode multiple light paths are available. Okay. So when an optical pulse is given to this fiber, multiple light paths are created inside the score axis based on the refractive index. Okay. So in this one, multiple modes travel with different velocities. So what will happen at the receiving end? So these modes arrive at the receiving end at different times, right? So here it causes pulse spreading in time as it travels along the fiber. So this effect is called as intermodal dispersion. So this intermodal dispersion arises due to the variation in the group delay for each mode at a single frequency. It depends only on the delay difference of this multiple parts. Okay. So it is denoted as del T mode. That is the intermodal dispersion delay time. So it can be obtained by taking the difference between the maximum time to the minimum time. So here delay difference is equal to maximum time minus minimum time where the maximum time represents the travel time of the longest ray that is the higher order mode. Okay. Here the steam end represents the travel time of the shortest ray that is the fundamental mode. It can be represented as L n1 squared by C n2 minus L n1 by C. Here n1 represents the refractive index of the core. n2 represents the refractive index of the gliding. C is the velocity of light. L is the fiber length. Okay. From this we can take the L n1 by C as a common one. Okay. Then the intermodal delay difference is L into N1 by C, N1 by N2 minus 1. This N1 by N2 minus 1 can be written as del. Then we can get the delay difference for intermodal dispersion is equal to N1 del L by C. This is the pulse broadening effect of meridional rays due to intermodal dispersion. Okay. So this intermodal dispersion can be reduced by using a graded index profile in this fiber code. So this is the graded index profile where the refractive index of the core varies smoothly and continuously along this fiber axis. So it has the maximum value at this core axis point. Okay. So here in this one the multiple parts are arrived at one point simultaneously. Therefore, the modal dispersion is getting reduced. Do you all understand this point? So, in this graded index fiber, all the modes are arrived at one point simultaneously. Then, the intermodal dispersion is reduced.